Bill here, Restored Hot Rods. So I'm working on the 53 GMC, getting this. I got this big push bumper off of here. Used to have a snow plow put it on it. These hooks, <coughs> these hooks are awesome. <laughs> They're monsters. And it was melted on there. Now it turns out that grill is actually bolted onto the fender. It's not bolted onto the the uh, body itself. It's got two two bolts coming up coming up from underneath. So I'm gonna try to get those out of the way. Get those out of there. So that's clear. Now I'm not real sure. I'm gonna raise this. I don't know if I should pull the front clip. It's not that big a deal. But what I'm thinking Yeah, you gotta pull the gas cap off before you can get the door open. Wow, that smells bad. What I'm thinking is taking the doors off and Run some 4x4s, post through the cab, and brace the cab in some way, shape, or form. And jack the whole thing up. Thing is, it's got to go up so high to clear those tires. And I don't want to pull the motor out of it. I want to leave the chassis intact. I'll probably sell the cat chassis. I really don't have any, any use for it. At least not that I can think of. If I hang on to it, I'll think of a use for it sooner or later. So, uh, I think I need to pull those running boards because those running boards are bolted onto the frame, not the body. Well, let's get started on something. See what happens. Not really sure what I'm going to do.
Wow, that door was a battle. These sockets that these slide into, uh, the hinges slide into, are full of rust. Really tough to get off of there. But as you see, I got it. I won. The door took a little bit of damage. I used my Ford carburetor tool, fixed it right up. Uh, now I need to get this seat out. Uh, which is a bit of a bear. It's got some bolts back down behind, behind the gas tank down here that you got to try to get that. You can't get a ratchet to. But I'll fight it and get it out of there. What's next?
Okay, now I don't remember if I gave you a good tour or walk around of this truck. This is a 51 GMC, or 53 GMC. Those cab corners are a little crusty. They're not bad though. Inside, rusty crusty. I think that's gonna clean up pretty good. Uh, floors are intact. It's all in really good shape. Yeah, might need a headliner. I gotta find somebody who can do that for me. Now this is a two and a half ton. Or two ton, whatever you want to call it. <clears throat> oh, I got the thing tight shut. So, I gotta figure out some way to pick this up. These cab corners are a little crusty, but they're solid. And I know most people like the five window. I like the small back window. That way I can kind of hide back in that corner while I'm driving along. I like it. All right. Oh, it's a good spot. It's nice and flat. I got my camper jacks I'm going to lift it up with. Same way I took off the flatbed. So, that's the next video. Or the one after that. Or... It's coming as fast as I can. Thanks for watching. Take care.